Hey guys, today Apple released Final Cut Pro 10.4.4, an incremental update that's packed with what I'm calling little big features. And while none of these features are necessarily groundbreaking, they are huge in terms of making Final Cut Pro more useful and efficient than it already is. And the first little big feature I'm gonna show you is batch sharing. Prior to this release, if you wanted to select a bunch of clips or projects and batch export them, you were out of luck unless you used a third-party utility. I'll select a few of these clips in the browser. But before I go to the share menu, check this out. You can batch export your clips with lookup tables applied. These clips were shot with a Canon C100 in log profile and they all appear flat. I'll go to the info inspector choose Extended from the Metadata View menu, then choose Canon Log from the Camera LUT menu. And just like that, all my clips are normalized. Now it's time to batch share these so I can view them when I'm traveling. With the clip still selected, I'll go to the Share menu. Well, look at that. It says Share Four Clips. I'll then choose a destination target. Let's say that I wanted these movies to play on my iPad Pro. I'll choose Apple Devices 720p. The share window appears with a list of the clips I'm about to export on the left. I'll choose settings to verify the format, codec and resolution, then choose an iTunes playlist. Once exported, all my movies with the LUTs burned in appear in iTunes, where they'll be synced with my iPad. By the way, you're not just limited to exporting full clips. If your clips have selection ranges, you can select them and only the portions within the ranges will be batch exported. For this batch export, I'll choose Master File. Then in the Settings tab, choose Apple ProRes 422 in the Video Codec menu. If you move your pointer over the estimated file size, Final Cut Pro reports the estimated file sizes for each movie you're about to export. I'll choose the highest ProRes setting, then view the estimated file size for this share setting. I'll set this back to ProRes 422, click Next, create an export folder for my movies, then click the Share button. When each movie finishes exporting, each will open in a QuickTime player window. What's also very useful is the ability to batch export movies using bundles. Bundles allow you to batch export your movies to multiple destinations simultaneously. Let's say that I wanted my movies uploaded to Vimeo and YouTube. I'll select the clips I want to share, then from the Share menu choose Add Destination. In the window sidebar, I'll select the YouTube and Vimeo share items, then right-click and choose New Bundle from Selection. Both delivery targets now appear in one folder. I'll name the folder Social Media. By selecting the folder, the settings for both sharing platforms appear on the right. I'll change the resolution to 1080p for both of them, and make sure to double check my privacy settings, then close a the window. With the clip still selected in the browser, I'll go to the Share menu, choose the Social Media Bundle, click Next, then click Publish for both platforms. Opening the Background Tasks window shows the progress of all my movies as they're rendered and uploaded. Once I log into YouTube and Vimeo, they'll appear as separate movies on both platforms. In addition to exporting individual clips, you can now export multiple projects if your workflow requires you to output multiple versions of your edit. Here in the browser are two versions of a scene I'm working on. By selecting them, then returning to the Share menu, it now says Share Two Projects. So I can use the same workflow as when exporting individual clips by choosing a destination or bundle from the list. Even better is that I can send them both to Compressor. This is important because Compressor allows me to set in and out points for each exported project, something I cannot do directly in Final Cut Pro. 
For example, I can set in and out markers for the first part of cut A, and another set of in and out markers for the second part of cut B. So when these projects are shared, only the portions between the markers will become rendered movies. So Compressor makes batch exporting of projects even more flexible. So all that's left to do is add a compression preset to each job, set the file destinations, then click the Start Batch button.